Welcome back to your Tasty Life TV. Today I have the pleasure of having Dr. Cindy Soliday, a health psychologist with me, to discuss the topic of toxic relationships. Mm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. In her field, obviously you deal with this a lot. You have mm -hmm. a lot of uh, women in particular coming to you, men too, but you know we mm -hmm. like to focus on women here at your Tasty Life. Mm -hmm. And they have these relationships. So in other words, they're trying to do the right thing. They're trying to make positive, you know, lifestyle changes. And maybe the anchor is the spouse or the partner in the relationship. Mm -hmm. And you've done a lot of work uh, with your clients, talking to them about the difference between a relationship and a partnership. And mm -hmm. could you speak a little bit to that? Yeah, it's all about relationships. And uh, especially for women, uh, that's so important to us, just like our connection, mm -hmm. uh, your connection. And it's not just women, it's men too, but I'm speaking a lot to women because we have that need to bond. And if there is some kind of a problem in your relationships in your life, whether it's within yourself, with food, with your spouse or whatever, then that means you don't have a healthy connection. I like to look up definitions to help me understand things better. Mm -hmm. And if you look up the definition of a relationship, it simply says connection, right? Mm -hmm. So we have relationships. We're connected to all sorts of different aspects of life with people, with food, with our environment, or whatnot. And um, when you think about toxic, I guess you could also apply it in terms of whether it's functional, a functional relationship, mm -hmm. or dysfunctional. Functional is a mathematics term, which basically means when two or more variables are together, right, mm -hmm. and they work together towards a unified outcome. Mm -hmm. If it's dysfunctional, then it means that um, you have two or more variables, and when things are happening, they have separate agendas, right? Mm -hmm. Or they have separate outcomes. And so the funny thing is, is we really don't spell out the terms and conditions of our relationships in our culture. And a lot of what happens is we just kind of inherit mm -hmm. or we kind of mimic what's been done around us. Now, I think we could all agree that um, most of us came from dysfunctional family backgrounds. If we can't agree about that, and I hope you came from a functional family background. Mm -hmm. I know I didn't, but, but that's we all got our stuff. Do we, we all got our we stuff. Got but in American stuff. culture, come on, we do not have a healthy relationship with food, mm -hmm. right? We absolutely do not. And what I like to suggest to my clients, and I think this is important in the work that you do as well, Lisa, is that we begin to really define the terms and conditions of those relationships sure. and start to make some healthy agreements, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. With ourselves, with others, and really with, you know, our culture at large that says that we want the same outcome. Right. We want a healthier, happier, blissful life, and we need to really define that, and then we need to stick together because mm -hmm. we need each other to get that kind of job, that kind of outcome done. So with that being said, coming to some agreements, being on the same terms, mm -hmm. you often talk about partnership agreements. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about this a little bit more. You know, I talk about this a lot, especially in uh, the work that I do with um, couples mm -hmm. and families. And again, if we would just handle all of this like we handle our professional business, I think things will work out a lot better. I, I mean, most of us have to go to a job where we have a mission, a vision, a yeah. job description. We have specific objectives that we have to accomplish. We have remediation mm -hmm. uh, steps if we're not following through. Then we know what we need to do. We all understand we're all on the same page, and then we get it done. And then we also get bonuses. You know, we mm -hmm. get rewards for having done that. I think we need to do that in our relationships with each other mm -hmm. and that we handle our, our family business and our personal lives in similar ways so that we're not just setting ourselves up for failure mm -hmm. because we're unconsciously co-creating the same kinds of process sure. or outcomes that have gone before us. And right now we're trying to change right. the way we eat, the way we live, the way we relate to one another in such important and significant ways that I think we deserve mm -hmm. to make that agreement, you and I in partnership, so that we can stick together and get the job done. Mm -hmm. So could you give a brief example of what that might look like? So someone's at home thinking, wow, that's a great idea. I need to mm -hmm. talk to my significant other about mm -hmm. this partnership agreement. Mm -hmm. What is some things you've seen people put into those agreements mm -hmm. that create less tension thereby in the relationship then? 
oh my gosh, there isn't anything that isn't covered. Mm -hmm. And um, I will say it's a social internet media kind of world. All you got to do is Google partnership agreements okay. and you will find a whole lot of different templates and ideas and books online. But literally you can put in it anything you want, right? But you would cover um, terms of finances, terms of communicating, terms of your sex life. Yeah, we're going to put that in there. Terms of your nutrition and actually, you you know, you can do whatever you want. In what, other words. You create the contracts and agreements that you choose that are mm -hmm. best suited for you, right? So there's no limit. Remember, limits are a place to start, not stop. So, you know, put your power to use and, you know, communicate mm -hmm. with each other in a way that isn't, um, afraid of mm -hmm. saying what you really need, what you really want, and putting it in writing so that you can increase the likelihood that you're going to succeed. That's very what real good. partnerships do, right? Yeah. So very good information. So there we go from taking relationships a step further, considering some partnership agreements mm -hmm. to release some tension and be working on the same page with your significant other. Uh, thank you, Dr. Cindy, for sharing this insight with us. We'll catch you next time on Your Tasty Life TV.